session, which must be being furthered with some kind of uh, 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 governmental intervention and investment to offset it, because if, it's, if it takes full uh, maturity, it, it could devastate the world economy. Uh, the impacts of student loans are so very high, uh, and student debt is so great as the tariffs on kids going to college, for example. And so issues of great substance, health care and education, housing, and the war. Those issues must be issues that will be debated, and whoever has the best plan to resolve those issues will be president, and deserve to be. But if they hang around, if they start fighting each other, they will not have enough energy left to reconcile when the uh, primary season is over. Uh, uh, when I saw in, 80, in 1980 that Kennedy and Carter had such a rugged fight in the primary, they came to the convention in the New York, they couldn't reconcile, and, and that opened the gates for Reagan to come through, so that in their battle for the nomination, they must not leave so much blood on the field in the primary. They don't have enough energy left to reconcile and fight the Super Bowl, as it were, in, the, in November. Finally, what do you see happening? Do you see an African-American president of America, or do you see a woman president of America? It's certainly possible to have one of either. America has never had a woman president. Uh, when four years ago, when Indira Gandhi could guide India, the world's largest democracy. Mrs. Thatcher could guide Britain, Golden Bear could guide Israel, a woman could guide America. To be sure, an African American can become president. There's nothing we cannot do. African Americans, Secretary of State, or military chiefs of staff, or scientists, there's nothing we cannot do. And so we've, we've been ready for a long time. And now we put forth a very viable candidate. Uh, America is on trial in many ways. Look at someone that's qualified as Barack um, and reject him without good reason. He says a lot about the nation, but to be sure, America is getting better. Think about the South Carolina victory. He got 80% of the black vote, but 25% of the white vote in a state where 40 years ago blacks didn't even have the right to vote. In a state where you have a progressive white from South Carolina, Edwards, a female, uh, Hillary Clinton, and an African American competing for the presidency. Uh, and drawing crowds of people, black and white, together. And to me, um, a tough campaign, but those are great signs. Thank you. That was Reverend Jesse Jackson.